If you remember Cars 1 from 2006, then you'll probably remember Lighting McQueen, Chick Kicks, and the King tied for the most points for the season points to lead. And then at the end of the movie, Chick Hicks wins the Piston Cup, the ends the King's career in devastation, and Lightning McQueen had to pull push him towards the finish line. And that scene was most memorable. Hello everybody, this is Galaxy Nail here, or Jacob, whatever the fuck you call it, and welcome to a big review. We got ourselves the Speedway of the South multi-pack. All these cars are made in Thailand, according to... According to the back of the box here, if it's, is it, yep, made in Thailand, right there. Here are the cars that comes with the set. Here we have Lightning McQueen, Billy Oil Changer, Chick Hicks, Charlie Checker, Race Official Tom, Strip Weathers, aka The King, Dirk San Diego Sino, Chuck Armstrong, not to be, not, to, not Dud Throttleman. And also that is the wrong body they actually use for Chuck Armstrong. Danico Pitty or Luke, I kind of forgot the last name. Brad Wimler and Dario Vanderson. So we're going to go from least important to most important in this pack's because I want to save the Piston Cup racers for last. So let's go ahead and get started. Opening this pack. Alrighty, we got ours. This, thing. this is actually my first time reviewing a multi-pack in this Here are all the cars in the pack. As you can see, they all look pretty good. You can still touch them when you open the pack, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up first. Okay, so here we go. Oh. oh, this is good. interesting. Okay. Oh my God, this is gonna be very interesting. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be. Let's see if we can get... Is there a way to actually get... Wow. Oh, we got one car out. I think it was the Dynaco Pity. See? Yep. It was Dynaco Pity. Anyways, we're going to have to speed things up. Be back right in the Alrighty, back. Alrighty, and with all the cars out of the pack, let's go ahead and start from least important to most important. Starting off with Daria Wilson. So Daria is a 164 scale diecast car. Yes, 164 scale because I actually tested on the Super 6 and... He or she does fit on the Super 6, so maybe on the second channel we could do some racing. Anyways, Daria is the King's fan because where's the King's crown in blue? Where's the blue crown on top? One of the 
not a big fan of this one. I'm most important to the Piston Cup racers. If I were to rate Daria, I would say 7 out of 10. Anyways, on to Brad. Brad is another one of these um, fans. He actually has the Piston Cup trophy on his hood and one hanging on his roof. That is green. All these cars are made in Thailand. Oh, that's weird. You see that? Do you see that? I can actually see it. There's a... I don't know what happened. Might have... His mouth is plastic, so maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. I would give Brad a 7 out of 10. Up next is Charlie Checker, the pace car of Cars 1. He has that smile, which um, doesn't accurate, which isn't accurate to the movie, but I'll pass it for now because the, lot, the rest of the car does look good, though, especially its accuracy. This car does look good. Charlie... I would say Charlie gets a 6 out of 10 because the only fly I don't like is the mouth, mouth being a smile. He did, ha he did have a determined expression in the movie, so if you if it would have made like that, I would have rated him higher. Next up is Race Official Tom. Now, I did have Race Official Tom in my collection, but I was with the lenticular version. This is actually my first time getting the normal Race Official Tom. Race Official Tom is actually one of the... Um, yeah, this one is definitely really great. Um, really great. I would I would probably say an eight out of ten for him because of how good he looks. Yeah, let's. Okay, up next we have the Dynaco Pity, who is who actually changed tires with Strip Weathers. As you can see, he does look pretty good. This is the I'm assuming this is Luke. I can't remember his last name though, but it's still Luke. And as you can see, there is no um screw, it's just like that. And all these cars are made in Thailand. They used to be made in Vietnam, but not anymore. This one definitely is one of the greatest biddies. Not a big fan of not Chuck because of how rude he is in the movie. But I'm pretty, but I'm, but I'm fine of not having him. And now we're going on to our six racers. This is actually an 11 pack. I actually mistaken myself. So first up, we're going to go ahead and start off with Dirksen Diego Sino. I already have him in my collection, but this is actually a newer version from that pack. So nothing too much to say about him. Does look the same from, from the one I have. Not... I don't have the old one yet because it's also made in Thailand, but if my camera can focus enough, there we go. As you can see with the contingency sponsors, very blurry, but that's Thailand for you. Piston Cup, Nitroade, Mood Springs, Revolt Team, No Soul, Octane Gain, Vitaline, Gaskets, Gas Brain, Easy Idle, RPM, Easy Idle, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid. Trunk Fresh is his sponsor, and he also sponsored us in Cars 3 before Steve Slick LePage took him out. This is definitely one, one of the best Piston Cup racers ever, ever since his re-release in 2020 in the Blue Desert line. Next up, we're going on to Billy Oil Changer, the Cars 1 Octane Gain Racer. He's number 58. Uses the same body design as Dirksen, nothing too... This is actually my first time ever getting Billy in my in my collection. Octane Gain Turbo Vitaline. The Turbo Vitaline is very grainy. Um, you, it's hard hard to see on this one. Oh, I would rate Dirksen a nine out of ten because of how good he looks. Billy, I would say a nine out of ten as well. The colors do look accurate. Next up, we're going up to Chuck Armstrong, not Dud Throttleman. I know it says Dud Throttleman on the box, but that is definitely not Dud Throttleman. And that body doesn't look like Chuck Armstrong. Anyways, back to the back to Chuck. So this is actually his Thailand variant. As you can see, um, his China counterpart ha 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 had white teeth, but this time he doesn't have any white teeth at all. It's just basic. Chuck Armstrong 
yeah pretty pretty good solid mood springs racer this is actually my first ever mood springs racer i've ever got which is pretty interesting shares the same body design as ake and axler i could review some of my older cars in the near future so be on the lookout for that except for dirksen because i already reviewed him today in this pack i would say chuck gets a 9 out of 10 because of how solid he looks my only flaw with him is that he doesn't have teeth and now we're on to the main three lightning mcqueen strip weathers and chick hicks all of them save the best for last we're gonna start off with chick hicks first because he's the antagonist in the ser in in the movie as you can see um his sponsor is hostile takeover bank if, if you've seen him in singles, then you can actually tell that the artwork is wrong because that's, that's actually his Cars 3 look, but the diecast is the Cars 1 look, which this one is accurate. I was lucky enough to actually get him in this pack because I don't have a Chick Hicks in my collection, so this one is my first Chick Hicks. Sponsors 80, um, his number is 86 or 98, but it's actually 86. Hostile Takeover Bank. So, yep. I would say Chick gets a 10 out of 10 for how good he looks. Next up, we're going on to the GOAT of himself, Lightning McQueen. As you can see, he, he has a signature written on there. This is pretty good. One of the one of the best characters ever in the whole movie. I gotta say, this version of Lightning McQueen looks very nostalgic. <laughs> first one ever to be made this one definitely takes the cake number 95 and he has himself the rusty's medicated bumper ointment and i actually decided to get this mcqueen because my older mcqueen doesn't didn't have the rusty's logo on a spoiler so i was lucky enough to actually get this back for that and lightning queen gets a 10 out of 10 and last up we're going on to strip weathers aka the king So, I think he's based off of the 1970 Plymouth Superbird or a 69 Dodge Charger Daytona because they actually share the same body design. This is actually my first ever King design or King diecast. This one does look good. Sponsors Team Danico. It's voiced by NASCAR legend Richard Petty. This guy is definitely the best. 10 out of 10. One of the best cars ever. Anyways, that will do it for this review. I hope you enjoyed this mega review, the 11-pack review. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.